Hello everybody. My name is Lukas Feuer and I will present our ECCV paper HRDA – Context-Aware High-Resolution Domain Adaptive Semantic Segmentation. Semantic segmentation is a task of classifying each pixel of an image. Training a neural network for this task usually requires expensive pixel-wise annotations of real-world images. Therefore, it would be desirable to exploit other domains that are easier to annotate, such as synthetic data. However, a model trained on the source domain typically experiences a performance drop when applied to the target domain. The goal of unsupervised domain adaptation is to increase the performance on the target domain by using unlabeled target images. Many state-of-the-art UDA methods are based on self-training. The network is trained using ground truth labels for source images and pseudo labels for target images. The pseudo labels are generated by taking confident predictions of a teacher. The teacher is an exponential moving average of the student for temporarily stable predictions. In that way, the networks are iteratively adapted to the target domain. UDA methods are usually more GPU memory demanding than supervised learning, as UDA often requires images from multiple domains, additional networks and additional losses. Therefore, most UDA semantic segmentation methods follow the convention of downscaling images due to GPU memory constraints. We question this design, as low-resolution predictions often fail to preserve fine details. However, naively learning UDA with full high-resolution images is often infeasible, as the resolution quadratically affects the memory consumption. A different approach is training with high-resolution random crops of the image. While this allows to adapt small objects and preserve fine details, it limits the learned long-range context dependencies to the crop size. This is a crucial disadvantage for UDA, as context information and scene layout are often domain robust. Quantitatively, the performance drop of a smaller crop is about three times larger for UDA than for supervised learning. To effectively combine the strengths of these two approaches, we propose HRDA, a novel multi-resolution framework for UDA semantic segmentation. First, HRDA uses a large low-resolution context crop to learn long-range context dependencies. Second, HRDA uses a small high-resolution detail crop from the region within the context crop to adapt small objects and to preserve segmentation details. As the importance of the context versus the detail corpse depends on the content of the image, HRDA fuses both using an input-dependent scale attention. During UDA, the attention learns to decide how trustworthy the context and the detail predictions are in every image region. In that way, HRDA preserves the main advantages of a large crop size and a higher resolution training, while maintaining a much lower GPU memory consumption than full image high resolution training. For pseudo label generation, the detailed predictions are generated for the entire area of the context crop using overlapping sliding windows. In that way, multiple views with different contexts are combined for robustness. The reassembled detail prediction is fused with the low resolution context prediction using the scale attention. In that way, the better suited resolution is used for object scale dependent adaptation. HRDA can be applied to various UDA methods and network architectures and consistently improves the performance by a significant margin. Especially self-training methods benefit from the high-quality multi-resolution pseudo-labels, which reinforce the adaptation process. When combined with DA former, HRDA improves the state-of-the-art performance by a significant margin of 5.5 mean IOU. HRDA particularly enhances the performance of small objects, such as pole, traffic sign and person, as well as semantically similar classes, such as truck, bus and train. This is also reflected in the example predictions, showing that HRDA can better recognize small objects and distinguish difficult classes. Thank you for watching this video.